Hi, my name is Michael, and today I want to show you uh, a couple keyboard shortcuts and value features for Mind Manager 7 for Mac. So, without further ado, come with me. First thing you need to do though is you need to download a free 21 day trial of Mind Manager if you haven't already done so. Wonderful program. It saves me about three to five hours a week. No joke. Hands down, if you don't believe me, go to mindjet.com. Take a look at their homepage, the value of an hour. What is the value of an hour to you? Well, if it means a lot and you want three to five hours back in a work week, go to mindjet.com, take a free trial, look at their map gallery, take a free tour, and get started. Where I'm going to jump in is assuming that you know a little bit more about the program. Well, I want to make it a little bit more productive and effective for you to use by showing you a couple of keyboard shortcuts. So, I'm on a Macintosh. I'm going to jump into a map that I already downloaded from MindJet.com. And this is a project dashboard. You can see the central topic is highlighted in blue, which means that that's where I've clicked on my cursor, uh, with my cursor. I'm going to jump down to Project Artifacts, down in the bottom left-hand corner. One single click and that box is highlighted blue. The first shortcut I want to show you is the expanding by one level shortcut. Let's say I'm clicking here and instead of clicking the plus button over here to the far left and expanding the topic which you normally would do, you can go ahead and hit Apple Option and the number two and boom your map opens up to the second level. If you want to open at another level Command Option and 3, or you can just simply move over to one of those sibling topics. Command Option, number 2 again, and boom, there you go. If you want to shrink everything back down to its normal size with nothing showing, Command Option, 0. There you go, keyboard shortcuts. Command Option 1, 2, 3, however many levels that the map goes down to, boom, you're there. Now, let's say uh, you want to center the map, but you don't necessarily want to click and drag. If you notice that single click on anywhere in the map, as long as it's not on a uh, topic, you can move that dashboard all around. But let's say it ends up down over here and you want to single click, you want to center that map. Center, central topic, F3. Boom. And it even expands at one level with you. Now remember, option command number one brings you to the single level okay those are a couple keyboard shortcuts for you right now I want to show you you know with any effective tool you gotta to set it up to the uh, to where you're comfortable and what you want to see up here on this toolbar I'm going to show you right now how to customize your, your toolbar you want to go up to view up in the top of the screen click view all the way down to the bottom customize toolbar click that and up comes all the features uh, that come with Mind Manager for uh, 7 for Mac. I particularly like to have my colors up there at my uh, disposal. You know what? Oftentimes the text might not be as big as I want it, so I like to have that zoom in feature. And as you can see, I'm just clicking and dragging and bringing those uh, icons to the top of my toolbar. Uh, one more. I like, once again, my fonts. I like to make sure the fonts are big enough for me to read. Boom. I've customized my toolbar. Click done, I'm off to the races. Next time I enter Mind Manager, everything's going to be there for me, uh, uh, just the way, just where and the way I want them. Uh, let's see, a little fun. I want to show you really quickly how to attach a file, or you can even hyperlink to a file within uh, your computer. So let's say I'm over here at the organizational chart, down bottom right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to hit F3. I'm going to center that. There you go. I've got all of my uh, looks like contacts for this particular uh, project, and uh, I'm going to shrink this. I don't want to see all this stuff. So, Command Option Zero. Let's say I wanted a hyperlink to a document, uh, and the organizational chart. Let's have some fun. If I'm going to be presenting this, I'm going to go up to the top here. Hyperlink. I'm going to click on hyperlink. I have the ability to now hyperlink to a web page a URL, a specific topic within my map, a file folder, or even an email address. I'm going to particularly hyperlink right now to a folder within my, uh, desk, uh, within my um, computer. 
Go ahead and click folder. Up comes the choose button. Click choose and there is yeah, my desktop, my hard drive, my external drive. Uh, for this particular attachment, I'm going to go to my documents. Uh, AVIs, you know what, let's say, let's make it fun. I'm going to hyperlink it to my Jimmy Buffett videos. I click open. There it is. I click OK. Now, I've got a little folder icon in the bottom right hand corner. I can go ahead and click on that. Automatically links straight to my uh, Jimmy Buffett videos folder. And hey, you want to watch a little bit of uh, Jimmy Buffett singing Southern Cross by Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young? There you go. One stop shopping here at MindJet. F3, central topic, centers my map, back nice and neat. So, anyway, those are a couple of helpful features uh, that I'm glad that you were able to uh, take a look at. We'll be back next week or maybe next month showing you a couple more value features. Best thing that you can do though, mindjet.com, download the 21-day trial, get familiar, get organized, get mindjet. Take care, everybody.